I'm with Grangetown after round three of the ENG under 13 Youth Netball Premier League Northern Conference. Welcome back to the league. Grangetown um, started the day in third place in the table, five points. Um, you're pushing for the top four. You are you were in the top four, so a, a single win here today will be a massive out of two, would be massive for you guys. Against Leeds Athletic, always going to be tough to, to find that win. I think you started well. Probably the first two quarters were, were great. After that, you know, I think Leeds' is stamina and their, and, and their relentlessness kicked in. But were you happy overall with your performance? Yeah, I think that we played very well as a team. We read off each other really well. But I think that at some points we just threw balls away and we got a bit tired and a bit sloppy and we need to, like, work on that. Yeah, yeah same. I uh, just felt like we made silly errors and we didn't really need to. Yeah. Credit to Leeds. Yeah, they did very well. Um, Second game, good game, very tight up until the fourth quarter. And then it looked like you, it seemed on, on paper, it looks like you, you, it's a convincing win, but it was, it was a tough win. Um, the fourth quarter was the difference in the end, the real difference between the two teams. Um, what, what do you think you did better than them to get the win? Um, I think that we, like we, just played very well together and we our defence was really good it was, and yeah. we had put a lot of pressure on them and they threw quite a lot of balls away. And, yeah. Yeah. We forced them out a lot, they, yeah. you forced yeah. them to take long shots, um, as a defender how do you do that? Basically, I don't know, just try and like push them out as much as you can, try and get your stretches as close as you can about getting home, obviously it worked. Yeah. Well done, um, seven points now, you're third in the table again. Um, no, Berry do have a game in hand, Chorley obviously are playing now, so um, it could change, but you're in a decent position, you're running, it's quite healthy, you've got Tameside, you've got Chorley and Ferno, and you've got Berry. so two wins at least will, will guarantee you a place in our, in our grand finals, which is the top four, um, do you think there's two wins within those three games in your, in your, in your team? Do you think you can achieve that, or is it too much to ask? Yeah, I think we can. I'm not trying to jinx us or anything, but okay. I and those three can. teams, where's the most likely two wins coming from? Tameside, Chorley, or Berry? Well, we've played Tameside quite a bit, and we've beat them quite a few times. So I think we can get a win out of Tameside. Right, yeah. yeah, Tameside. Next one. We've never played Chorley. Yeah. And we played Berry. Last time we played Berry in Berry, yeah. we beat them. So yeah. I think we could possibly get a win out of Berry, and then. You're going to go for all three, aren't you? <laughs> Say all three, yeah? Well, I don't know how good So you're you quite are. confident you can yeah. get at least... There's two. I don't think one win's going to do it. I think you're going to need at least 10 points to qualify. Um, another. So, how percentage-wise, how confident are you you can get the two, two wins needed to qualify for the Grand Finals? Um, maybe like... This might come back to haunt you, by the way. I know. <laughs> really stressful. Just do it anyway, just for the laugh. Um, I think like 60, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70